Hello, I'm classical guitarist Ricardo Saeb, and I'm very excited to be here with you to talk to you a little bit about my new album, Sefer. This album was recorded under the Fleur de Son recording label with the amazing executive production of maestros Michael Andreaccio and Joan Castellani, and with the magical sound engineering of Dave Dosman. The, we recorded this album here in Buffalo, New York at the Birchfield Penny Art Center which has this amazing uh, auditorium. It's this beautiful hall that is just a perfect place for the guitar because uh, as a performer, you're surrounded with the feedback and the beautiful acoustics of the room, which is, is a great vehicle for great music making. The name of the album, Sefer, is in reference to one of the pieces included here by the great American composer and friend Christopher Gainey. I met Chris uh, through jazz guitarist Bill Razzinero and while we were working in some guitar quartets I had the opportunity to read this piece, Sefer. And at the time it was uh, Chris's first and only composition for solo guitar. And I remember just the moment that I read it and I, I was just mesmerized by the precision of its writing and the artistry in the piece and I knew that I had to include this in this album. So I am... Um, uh, I am very excited uh, to present this piece in uh, its world premiere recording. The, the repertoire in this album doesn't follow a specific thematic or a time period. I think that with the electronic uh, platforms nowadays that we have access to so much music and that we get to pick and choose what is it that we want to hear, we, get, we have gotten used to uh, very dramatic contrast between the pieces that we listen and we tend to listen less and less to complete albums. So the repertoire here has that in mind. On one hand, it has this very abrupt uh, 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 contrast between one piece and the other, but in a way that it has this nice flow that hopefully invites the listener to want to, uh, to enjoy the whole album as a whole. So, in a way, we can say that the repertoire here is uh, like a playlist of pieces that I really love in the classical guitar repertoire. La Llorona, it's a Mexican folk song that is strongly associated with the festivities of the Dia de Muertos, or the Day of the Dead. And for me, it was very important to include in this album something of my Mexican heritage. And I chose this amazing, beautiful arrangement by the great composer Julio Cesar Oliva uh, as a way of paying tribute to all those loved ones that remain only in spirit here with us. I wanted to include in the album some of the pieces that have stayed with me throughout the years, and such is the case of the Fandango by Benicio Aguado. This piece that has this, it's so vivid and it's filled with these rhythms and, and sonorities like castanets, you know, and it's so Spanish in many ways. Um, I was first exposed to this piece when I was 17 years old. It was a required piece for a guitar competition in Mexico. And I loved it so much that I kept playing throughout the years and I'm very excited to bring my own interpretation of it here to this project. One of my favorite composers of all time is the great Paraguayan virtuoso Agustin Barros Mangoré. So I had to include two of his most iconic pieces in this album that are the Cholo de Saudade and the Un Sueño en la Floresta. The Sueño en la Floresta, which can be translated to a dream in the forest, is one of those pieces that tells you so much of the person of Agustin Barrios because it's commonly associated with this tale that he used to tell in which the Guarani god Tupá uh, came to him, came to Barrios, uh, into, came to Barrios in a dream and gave him a wooden box that contained in it the songs of all the birds and the moon would come down and will give him six rays of silver to the 
decipher all the mysteries enclosed in this box. And of course, uh, the box was the guitar and the six rays of silver, the strings of the guitar. And I think this beautiful story and this beautiful piece uh, are an example of the cosmology and the beauty um, of, of Barrio's music. I mean, the Swing of the is one of the most wonderful tremolo pieces of guitar repertoire, by far one of my favorites. I've had a tremendous opportunity and a tremendous privilege to perform for the great Cuban composer uh, Leo Brower in multiple, multiple locations throughout the years. And I keep those memories as some of the most amazing experiences as a guitarist. And uh, I included two pieces of him. One of them is in reality an arrangement of a theme by Astor Piazzolla, that is uh, La Muerte del Angel. And the other one is one of the first pieces that I ever played for him and that I had the opportunity to work in detail with him, that is the Elogio de la Danza. The Elogio de la Danza is one of those pieces that are so exciting because it taps into the most, into the rawest and the, the most primitive elements of dance, so it's a very exciting piece to both listen and play. flamenco guitarist uh, Paco de Lucia was for me one of the most influential figures in my life. I mean, it was the kind of figure that really drove me to want to be a guitarist. I remember as a child there would be a commercial in which he would be playing the part and I would always be mesmerized by the beauty of the music. And I think that my, my father always saw that because one day he came and surprised me with uh, tickets on the third row to see him perform live and I will never forget that concert, never ever. So unfortunately I never got to, to play flamenco, but I'm very excited to uh, bring to this project the uh, next best thing, that it is the, the Sevillana of Joaquin Turina. I think uh, the Sevillana is one of those pieces that's the closest that we can get to flamenco from the classical guitar perspective, with the strummings and the beautiful mysterious sonorities that are so evocative of Andalusia. It's just an amazing piece. Platerias by Gerardo Tamez is a composition that was commissioned by the guitar competition of Tasco Guerrero in Mexico. And, uh, and Tasco, it's a small town that is very well known in Mexico for its silversmithing. And actually, we translate platerias, that's what it means, silversmithing. And what Gerardo Tamez does in this piece is that he grabs um, multiple uh, sonorities and effects on the guitar, like harmonics and pizzicati and melodies, to create this kind of soundscape that takes you to that magical small town of Tasco. It's a beautiful piece. When putting together this repertoire, I thought, what better way to close this album than with a musical joke? And that's what the Sonata Jocosa by Joaquin Rodrigo is. Uh, Joaquin Rodrigo is best known for his uh, famous Concierto de Aranjuez. Composed this Sonata Jocosa for the great guitarist Renata Tarragó. And it's a, it's a very sophisticated humor that he employs here because he sets the listener uh, for expectations and then he throws you a curveball and he resolves chords in a very unusual way and brings sonorities that are very dissonant. And it's just a, a, an amazing, fun piece to listen to. And the, the, the funny thing for me about this piece is that the piece is so difficult to play technically that uh, I always wonder whether the joke is really on the listener or it's more on the performer that is trying to make this uh, piece sound fun while they're struggling to play the piece of the notes, you know? So this is Zephyr, available now in most electronic platforms, on Amazon and on the Fleur de Song website. I would like to thank Maestros Michael Andracho and Joan Castellani and everybody at Fleur de Sun for making this album possible. 
I hope that you enjoyed this album as much as we did making it. And well, thank you and enjoy.